G'day world, welcome back to my channel. I'm Craig, and in this video we're gonna clean up an old CZ250 engine and give you a look at how your parts may turn out if you're serious about making your resto look better than your mates. Pretty sure I haven't covered CZs in previous videos, uh, so here goes nothing. Uh, we'll have a look at what we're starting with and then get into it. Well, here's a look at all the parts the customers dropped off to get cleaned up. Uh, we've got a couple of the uh, engine side covers here that have had a bit of damage and have had a few repairs done on them. We'll do our best with that to try and hide some of those uh, flap disc marks. Uh, here we've got the cylinder head. It's um, it's also had a little bit of bit of damage here, but um, we should be able to clean that up nice. And the engine cases, they're looking a bit dirty, and uh, once again they've. They've had some damage and some repairs done to them. So they've been welded up down in here where they've thrown a chain and some more damage down here from the same thing. But uh, anyway, we'll chuck these bits in the booth and we'll uh, start cleaning them up. We might do these covers first. I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping, hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. And if I ever lose my hands, lose my plow, lose. Well, there we have the first cover out of the booth. It's come up very nice. As opposed to that one, we'll do that next. But as you can see, the uh, the flap disc marks and stuff have all blended in very nicely. Uh, to that you can hardly notice them so we'll get onto this one now and um, make it look like the other one well there's the second cover done already that engine's starting to look pretty special uh, for those doing the math out there that's uh, 40 minutes of blasting time in both of those uh, so depending on what your uh, blasting man charges that's the sort of dollars you'll be expecting or the time frame that it takes uh, your blasted man might charge a little bit more than the pittance I do, but um, certainly a nice result. I think we'll do that cylinder head next. Well, there's the cylinder head done. It's a bit hard to see in this light. There's 20 minutes in that, so all up so far. Customers up for an hour in blasting time. A bit hard to see in that light. You'll just have to take me word for it that that looks uh, lovely. Right next to these Kawasaki carburetors that I blasted, I've got the two engine cases. So we'll have a go at those now. And uh, I'll do one, pop it beside the other one, and then we'll do the other. And let you know how, how much time that took. Well, that's the first of the CZ250 engine cases cleaned up. You can see it looks a lot better than the other one. It's got a little bit of corrosion on it here. I reckon that's where the dog's been pissing on it. So if you've got a motorbike, don't let your dog piss on it. The underneath of it's very nice as well, so that engine's going to look spiffy when it's all back together. We'll do that second case now. So if you've stuck with me this far into the video viewers, here's a sneak peek from my upcoming Honda CBR video. Uh, part 4 in the CBR series. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell, uh, bell notification icon uh, so you don't miss it when it's released. It promises to be riveting. That's the second uh, CZ250 engine case done. That's come up nice as well. That's all the CZ parts done. The two cases took exactly an hour, so all up there was two hours blasting in that lot. So that gives you an idea what you're up for. It's not a big expense if you're rebuilding a motorbike and uh, it certainly makes it uh, look better than the rest. Please don't hang up just yet, folks. Uh, give me another 30 seconds of your time. Please hit that like button uh, and drop a comment below. The more comments I get, the more YouTube shares my content with other like-minded subscribers. Uh, you can show me your shopping list or tell me what you're having for dinner as far as I know uh, YouTube can't read. Anyhow, thanks again for your support and stay tuned for more videos. Uh, until then, I'm Craig Jenkins and you're not.